Speaking of the sexiest versions, this is a. I was looking up the thing in '94 in China. And oh stumbled yeah. across this. Oh good, yeah, that's what I was saying. The most bizarre contact in China occurred in June 7, 1994, when how do you say his name? Meng Jiaogua. Meng Jiaogua of Phoenix Mountain Fu. How do you say that? Fujian. Fujian, Fujian Province. Province met a female alien. First, there was electricity between them. Then things got amorous. <laughs> According to Meng. The female alien looked like a white monster. She was very tall, about 2.5 meters, and wore tight clothes with only her big eyes and private parts exposed. She did something to him that felt like an electric shock, and he passed out. When he came round, he found several scars on his body. According to Wu, she planted something mung bean sized in his body, into his body. Things were about to get even stranger. Meng had sexual intercourse with the female alien. She suddenly fell down on him. He could hardly move. His penis felt hot, then ached. The experience was more pleasurable than anything he had ever felt. And That's they, him? Yeah, and then they gave him a lie detector test. And he passed it? I, it doesn't I did not hear about those. that aspect of the encounter. I heard about passed those, especially crazy too, people. Yeah, I, I did not hear about that aspect of it. But any, I, did, I didn't go... But my point is... That dude was banging aliens. Yeah. Respect. <laughs> Respect. Respect. That's, it takes a lot of courage. But I, I was very attracted to the Avatar lady, the big blue one that saves him. So, she's hot. Yes. So... Yes. She's hot. We'll, we'll, we'll go back here. Let's, let's, go, let's go... I think she's hot. Let's, let's go back because... I fucking switch right over to that. I, I am... <laughs> here... So... We'll get back to moment of contact. I just want to say the last thing with moment of contact, and we'll get back to these other cases. It's either the case we've all been waiting for, the case that could settle the debate once and for all, right? If it's true. Could you think of a more extraordinary... Let's just say, hypothetically for a moment, it happened. As all the witnesses stated, it happened. How big of a story do you think it's that is? It's an immense story, because it means that they're real. If it's true, that it means they're real. It means something that we don't understand was in the sky, got hit by lightning, got caught up in a furious lightning storm, and wound up crashing. And that these things survived, and they got out, and the fact that one guy handled one of them and got this in insane infection and died very quickly afterwards, and he was very young and healthy, military man. And the fact that all these people have the same story. They all have the same uh, depiction of the disc, the, the craft, they have the same depictions of seeing these beings. Not one witness came to us. We had to track down every one of those witnesses, and there's a story behind each and every one of them that I could go on for an hour for. I'm sure. I won't bore you with the details, but suffice you to be, say. wouldn't bore me. Bro, we got a gravity bomb over there. We could be here for days. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. I'd be like... <laughs> I know. But there's nothing that goes better than it, marijuana it, and aliens. It, when I went, every time I'd get back from Brazil, I'd get home and people, and I'm out there for a month knocking on doors, talking to witnesses, chasing people down, trying to convince them to come forward like crazy. Yeah, this is not like a, a, a quick venture no, to this make this went documentary. On for 12 years. That's insane. And so, wow. and so I'd come home from a trip in Brazil, and I'm telling you, man, it was like my mind was just torqued. I was so, I'm in another alternate reality, and I'm thinking, oh my God, I'm coming to the realization that this happened when right? that man takes you to the spot yeah. and he gets overwhelmed with yeah. emotion he was gone for 25 years marco leal thank you marco and and co the, i said unless to marco, that guy we don't have a story we got to find we got to find carlos de Souza. yeah unless that guy is a daniel day lewis quality actor we don't need brad pitt anymore nor leonardo dicaprio this guy that guy if he's full of shit best actor of he's one of the best actors ever because that moment when he gets to that spot and he's overwhelmed with emotion he starts tearing up and oh yeah and he's freaking out like just imagine if 25 years ago you experienced something that literally destroyed your understanding of life itself in the universe that there's a thing out there that can visit us that's different than us and it's probably been here forever 